going to talk about hand strikes, open hand. Very versatile, very effective. Also good because, again, hard to injure. When you hit, I want you to hit in ways that preserve your body parts while doing the maximum damage to the other person's body parts. The easiest way to get you to conceive of open hand strikes is to think in terms of either whipping or thrust. If I'm whipping, I'm basically I'm dropping from on high. Again, there's that 12 o'clock, either hand. I may be coming from underneath. There's an underhand attack, kind of a whip. And from the side, three or nine. Now, if you use your hips, use the same kind of body mechanics we've talked about for other strikes, you can still generate pretty sufficient force to have an appreciable effect on the bad guy. The other kind of strikes you need to incorporate with your open hand are thrusting, and that's basically, as the name would imply, if that was 12, straight in, three, nine, there's six, throw them both at the same time, there's a double 12, there's three and nine at the same time, that'd be a double groin strike. That's risky, your head is exposed, there's only certain times when you can throw these types of combinations. Now get a partner in something that you can actually strike and start working these combinations. Hit those basic four quadrants, mix them up. The hand strike, very versatile because it can become a block, it can become a parry. And with an open hand, if something's coming in, you get it out of the way, your hands are ready to go and perform some of the control tactics that are part of the material. So it's an excellent way to train. So drive in with your thrusting strikes, whip in, use them both at the same time. If you're going to whip, use your whole body. If you're going to thrust, drive in, just like a really strong punch. Use your entire body. Now let's take a look at John's body parts and some ways that we can kind of segue from open hand strikes to an actual takedown. If I'm in close, open hand strike to the neck. That may just be a quick way that we're going to control and try to grab them down. If you're coming to assist somebody from behind that may be being assaulted, may have a fight going on here, you don't plow in between them and get injured by friendly fire. A good target with your open hand, the trapezius muscles right here. Super scapular nerve underneath, just come in, drive all the way down. From the front, if I need to move somebody back, open hand strike to the chin. Tip the head, and he's going to move. Tip the head, and he's going to move. You can dump him up and over if you can get in tight, but you've got to stabilize. Watch what happens again. We move away from pain. We move away from discomfort. We're all struggling for our balance. I push. He's taking a step back. If I need to take him down, I'm going to push and stabilize him at the same time. Here's an open hand in the back. There's that right down. Now, if we're still concerned about his well-being, we've got to think about the velocity in which his head is hitting the floor. Another way to work on a takedown, again, is that small of the back. If we're in close, as a setup, and drive him straight down. The small of the back, the chin, the trapezius, the groin, pitch him forward. Again, here's another palm strike, side of the head, and straight down. These are very versatile strikes, and they can be very versatile transition tools to get into other types of techniques as well. Thanks for watching our video lessons here at TRS Direct. Hit the like button down below and consider subscribing to our channel here on YouTube. Hit the bell icon and we'll send you a notification when there's a new lesson available. Thanks again for watching.